Hello everyone, today I want to present you a new feature um, resampling algorithms. Uh, you can now resample uh, digital terrain models to a higher or lower resolution. Uh, and this has some caveats, but it also has a huge advantage. And I will show you that in a minute. Before that, I will show you the different algorithms. You will find them and can choose them in the settings. Here, there is a drop down and also a little explanation what every, every algorithm does. But uh, for now, um, there I will show you every uh, algorithm and how it behaves. Um, in order to show you the setup is I imported the landscape with Mapbox and um, resampled it to one meter per pixel. And here you can see uh, the RMS algorithm and nearest neighbor, bilinear, cubic convolution, approximation, ventures, average, mode, max, min, mat, q1, q3, and sum. <laughs> and here is the same landscape without resampling. All these resampled have one meter per pixel, pixel size. This has no resampling for 0.77 meter per, uh, per pixel. I will also show you the, the landscapes with the material on it and what's the huge advantage if you unsample it. But uh, we will take a look at all these algorithms and how do you know what to choose. There are only three which are really suitable for um, uh, having um, upsampled and smooth landscapes. You see there are like these artifacts, but these artifacts are uh, gonna go away as soon as you have the landscape material on it. Um, and if you compare this with um, the non-resampled one, you see this is much more dense. So what is suitable? The bilinear is suitable. It's also the default one and it's also like um, resampling happened before. Also the cubic convolution kernel uh, approximation does give um, good quality and the lanches as well. But all others have like really more ripple effects in it and they are not really suitable. Like average, mode, they produce different kind of artifacts and um, you can really forget them. I will show you it here so you don't have to try it out yourself. But you see most of them are pretty similar. Some have more ripples, some less and some is the worst. <laughs> Never use it. I don't know. This is uh, coming from GDAL and uh, this algorithm implementation uh, is maybe for a certain use case, I don't know now. So um, let's go to the main advantage for of the upsampling. Here we have um, the same landscape imported with bilinear and the landscape material applied on it. And when we go um, to the landscape mode, top view, um, we can paint here something on it and we have here bilinear mat. Let's choose it here and choose, um, okay, go back and disable the world metric cloud because it clouds our view. So back here we have bilinear mat and here with 100 centimeters and uh, no brush fall off. Oh, I take this one. 
I think it's more clear the white one is no layer and when we choose the other one we can see the difference the, um, no resample mat it's much more coarse so you have only um, the possibility to paint on this vertex, vertex um, every 4.77 meters and so you have not the granularity of um, of the landscape with the higher resolution which of course has one meter per pixel and has um, the possibility to paint um, a vertex every meter. When we um, just recap, you can upsample it here with use native raster pixel size and if you untick it you can use uh, pixel size from 0 0.25 to 50, default is 1 and um, here we have in the settings the possibility to choose a resample algorithm and I think the default is good also a cubic convolution approximation and uh, the launchers is also fine no well, thanks, I hope um, it's clear now what uh, you can do with this new feature and as always have fun and see you next time, bye!